Welcome to this quick video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to use the MATLAB PDE toolbox step by step to solve different type of differential equations. So let's start. Here you can see the modeling workflow the steps of the creation of the model, generation of the mesh, and solving the equation. So the first step is creation of the geometry and assigning the material properties. Then we should select the physics of the problem, and then we should assign the boundary conditions and specify the loadings, right? The next step is assembling the matrix equations. So to assemble the matrix equations, we need to generate the mesh and refine the mesh. And after solving the matrix equations, we can do the post processing. So for the first example, we are going to solve this equation on a unit square this is the laplace equation yes on this unit square by specifying the dirichlet boundary conditions the value of u on the left edge is equal to 1 and on the other edge is equal to 0 so let's model this problem and solve it step by step Here in the command window, I write PDE tool to open the PDE modeler graphic user interface. You should have the PDE toolbox installed on your MATLAB. So the first step is creation of the geometry. And from here, draw, I select the draw mode to set the mode of the PDE modeler to create the geometry. Here I have different options. I can create a rectangle, right, using this command or this command, or I can generate a polygon. So simply because the region is a unit square, I can select this option and draw a rectangle here, right? So place a point and drag the mouse to create this geometry so this is r1 now if i double click on r1 i can specify the properties the left point is zero enter the bottom zero enter the width is equal to one and the height is equal to one the name is r1 so press ok and here you can see the you need a square. From here, we can set the axis limits to auto. Apply. Yes. So, this is the geometry of the problem that we created. And here you can see the formula for the geometry. We will discuss this later for more complex geometries. The second step is setting the physics of the problem and assigning the material properties. So from here, we can specify the physics of the problem. Do we have a generic scalar equation or we can specify the problem, magnetostatic, electrostatic, heat transfer and so on. So in the generic scalar equation, from here, PDE, PDE specification, we can set the parameters of the PDE equation. This is the generic scalar equation. We have these coefficients, C, A, F, right? So by setting proper values here, we can construct our equation, right? or we can select the type of the equation 
elliptic, parabolic, hyperbolic, and so on. So you know this is an elliptic equation. The value of c is equal to one. The value of a is zero, and the value of f is is also zero. C in this equation is actually the property of the material inside this region, right? This property can be electric permittivity, magnetic permeability, conductivity, or other mechanical properties of the material. So to construct this Laplace equation, I should set the value of C equal to 1, the value of A equal to 0, and the value of F is also equal to 0, and press OK. In this step, we should set the boundary conditions and loading. So I select the boundary and select the boundary mode. So here you can see the boundaries of the problem. And I select this edge, right? Left click on this edge, double click. Now I can specify the boundary condition. The condition type is Neumann or Dirichlet. This is a Dirichlet boundary condition. The value of U is equal to one on this edge. So the H is one. The value of R is also one. Yes. And for this edge, the value of R is equal to zero for this edge. The value of R is 0, and for this edge, the value of R is equal to 0. So, in this equation, we don't have internal boundary condition, right? Or any loading, anyway. In this step, we should create the mesh for the problem. So, I can select the mesh mode, right? And here you can see the initial mesh generated by the software for our problem. From here, we can refine this mesh, right? This is the initial mesh and this is the refinement. So I want to consider one refinement and then solve the problem. Now we are ready to solve the equation. We created the geometry, we selected the physics, we applied the boundary conditions and generated the mesh. And now we are ready to start the solver. So from here, solve PDE, we can solve the partial differential equation. From here, we can set the solver parameters. Do we need to consider the adaptive solver or nonlinear solver or no? I don't select these options, right? And solve the equation by default parameters. Solve. So here you can see the solution. Yes, the problem solved. And we can see the value of u, right? In the solution region. After solving the problem, the final step and the most important one is post-processing, right? We should post-process the results and based on the post-processing, we continue our engineering design, okay? So here in the PDE modeler plot, plot solution, we can generate different plots that we need. So from here, parameters, I can select what parameter I need to generate its plot and then export the data and analyze the data in the MATLAB. We can export these quantities in the workspace and analyze them. So here I want to plot the U, and show mesh, yes. The color map, jet. 
and plot. So you can see the value of u, right? And at the same time, we can see the solution mesh. Or I can select this option, plot the negative of the gradient of u, plot, so hide u, you can see the negative of the gradient of the u, right? Or actually, in the case of electrostatic problem, these are electric field vectors. So here we can select the proportional plotting or normalized plotting. If I select normalized, you can see the directions, right? So in the previous case, the real amplitude of the vectors are shown. So let's close this and start solving out the next example. Okay, so let's save this example. Save as example one and then create a new file. So in this new model, I am going to solve the previous example just by setting the equation here. So the Laplace equation is an electrostatic equation. So I select electrostatic. And now from here, the PD specification, you can see we cannot select these options, right? And this is the equation. This is the coefficient of the, the electricity, right? Epsilon, this parameter here, or electric permittivity. And this is the space charge density, right? So this is the material properties. And when we select the type of the equation, you can see the proper names here. And the E is the electric field, V is the electric potential. So I can select epsilon equal to one, rho equal to zero, press yes. And like before, I can select this rectangle, set the point zero zero one one, yes. Then set the boundary condition here. This is equal to one. Generate the mesh and solve the PD. You can see the distribution of the electric potential, right? So from here, parameters, I can plot the contour lines. Yes, the contour lines of the electric potential. And these vectors are electric fields. So you can see the proper names when you select the type of the problem, right? Electric potential and the electric field. Even you can generate a 3D plot if I consider the electric potential as the height plot. So you can see the value of electric potential here on this edge that is equal to one and on this three edges is equal to zero so these jumps are because of the mesh and if i use a really fine mesh and solve the equation again solve pde right you can see the solution surface with a better resolution 